Well, hi there. Welcome to Savory and Sage. My name is Jen. I am in the kitchen today just doing something very simple but super yummy. We are going to make spicy pickled eggs. So we're in a bit of an abundance here on the farm right now of uh, with farm fresh eggs. Um, it's currently the end of August and we have oodles of eggs. We have a complete fridge in our basement full of eggs. So I did some freeze drying of eggs um, yesterday. Well, it took a couple of days. So yesterday I took them out of the freeze dryer. So I have those gone into storage. But I'm also looking at doing some pickled egg recipes to put eggs in the fridge and they'll last for several months. Um, they're going to be too yummy probably to last that long, but we're going to try to make them last. So pickled eggs is on the menu today. So we're going to get some eggs cooking and um, boiling first and then we're going to proceed with the recipe. It's going to be a great simple recipe and I hope you guys enjoy it. The absolute best way we have found to cook our farm fresh eggs so that you can actually peel them um, is by steaming them. So we just use this steamer pot that I have. So I've got about an inch of the water in the bottom, I guess it is, and we'll put our eggs. Look at this tiny little egg. This is what we call our grandma eggs. We have little small chickens that lay those tiny eggs. They're quite sweet. So we've tried all different ways to cook farm fresh eggs and be able to peel them, but uh, this seems to be the best that we have found. Just steaming your eggs. All right, we're gonna bring that up to a boil and get it steaming for 15 minutes. And then we'll put it in an ice bath quickly to uh, stop the cooking process and they'll be perfect, perfect hard boiled eggs. All right, we're gonna get these peeled. Everybody has a different way of peeling eggs, but I just tend to just kind of go in like this. See how easy that peels when it's steamed? So you do have to be kind of gentle with your eggs. I was probably a little bit rough with that spoon starting out. I kind of forgot what I was doing them for. But you want to be gentle because you don't want to have any blemishes on your egg if you can avoid it. All right, so for our brine, um, for our pickled eggs, we're going to use equal parts water, filtered water, and apple cider vinegar. You can use regular white vinegar as well, but we're going to use apple cider because it just has more kind of depth of flavor. So I'm using two and a half cups of filtered water. And we'll use two and a half cups of apple cider vinegar. We're going to use two and a half tablespoons of salt, good quality salt. So this is Redmond's Real Salt. So I'm going to warm this liquid up just enough so the salt dissolves. All right, this recipe is super easy. So we have our boiled eggs that we did together. I have two one quart jars. So I have the narrow mouth top. You can also use wide mouth top, all right? The two differences. Um, the thing about narrow mouth is that it, because it's a narrower mouth, it kind of helps keep your eggs down under the brine. Um, because you do want to make sure your eggs stay under the brine at all times just to make sure nothing spoils. So if you use wide mouth, you could use one of these uh, little pickle weights or um, fermenting weights. I have it with my mason top set and you can actually place it inside your jar on top of your eggs to keep the eggs under the brine. Just an idea if you do want to use wide mouth. But I'm going to use narrow mouth. So basically all we're going to do is mix it all together in our jars. So I just put my brine in a, a measuring cup just to make it easier to pour, but I am going to pour this over the sink because it is pretty full. Um, so I'm just going to put probably about an inch of the brine in the bottom of each jar. So 
this is a very basic recipe and like I said we're using hot peppers so it is a spicy recipe but with pickling eggs you can really um, play around with the flavors you don't have to use everything that I'm using you can put onion in it you can put different types of spices in it as long as your brine is um, vinegary enough so I'm using a one-to-one -one ratio vinegar to filtered water you can use more vinegar if you'd like, but I wouldn't go any less than that, for sure, because you want to make sure you have enough vinegar for safety reasons. All right, I'll grab my things here now. So, in each jar, I'm going to put a half teaspoon of mustard seeds, give or take. And I'm going to put a half teaspoon of peppercorns in each jar as well. Again, give or take. Like, you know, you can play around with this. You can add things whatever way you want to add them. So now we're just going to start layering up our eggs and our garlic and hot peppers. So I have two different kinds of hot peppers. My hot peppers for my greenhouse aren't fully ripe yet. So I'm trying two different flavors, so they're not at their peak uh, heat, I guess, right? So I'm going to try two different flavors. I'm going to do jalapeno, not jalapeno, sorry, I'm going to do black Hungarians in one, and I'm going to do Hungarian hot wax in the other. My jalapenos are a little bit small yet. If you want to make a spicy pickled egg recipe and you don't have your own hot peppers, you can certainly use um, like hot pepper chili flakes, that kind of thing. Totally fine. You can put however much you want, depending on how much heat you like. So if you want to try with a teaspoon and you want to go up to a tablespoon, give her. Um, how many eggs can go in each jar really depends on the size of your eggs. So we have all different sizes of chickens. So we have some eggs that are really tiny and some that are super large. So I'm thinking I'm going to get about 10 in each jar, but if you're using um, a consistent size egg and it's more small to medium you'll probably get a dozen eggs in each jar but I don't think I will um, so we're gonna try it so I'm just gonna pack a few eggs in the bottom there just kind of drop them in and again you know make sure you have no shell left on it I'm just gonna kind of inspect my eggs as I go just to make sure so I put a couple in there and I'm Just going to use some fresh garlic, but I want to make sure it's sort of smushed, sort of smashed first. So I'm going to put a clove there, and then we'll put a couple of hot peppers in, and then we'll put some more eggs. Again, I'm just layering it up, kind of packing them down nicely. Should be counting them. That's, I think, seven eggs in there already. Something like that. So I'm going to put a bit more hot pepper, a bit more garlic. There's really no science to this, right? Like, I mean, there is to the vinegar, but otherwise, just go with what, what you want. Just play around. Like I said, you can use coriander seeds. You can use uh, dill. There's all sorts of different flavors you can go with. So I'm going to poke that down. So I got seven, eight, nine... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I had eleven eggs in that one, and I think that's probably all I'm gonna get in this one. So put a bit more garlic on top. Another bit of hot pepper, but I sort of think that's all I'm gonna get in there. And then we're just gonna top it up with the brine. Just fill it up until it comes over the eggs. Because you do want to make sure, like I said, your eggs are submerged down in the brine. So that is that one. This is going to be awesome. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic down there, and I'm going to throw one hot pepper down. Go in with some more eggs. I might have to take some more eggs out of the fridge. I might actually get more in here than I thought. I do have more boiled eggs there, just in case. Because we like boiled eggs here, so I always kind of try to have extra. 
You can take the seeds out from your hot peppers if you want, if you don't want it super spicy. We like it spicy. And like I said, my hot peppers aren't fully mature, so um, they're not as spicy as they normally would be. So I'm going a little heavier on that. So there's a lot of talk about how long your pickled eggs are good for. Um, from what I understand from my sort of research, because a lot of people say, um, you know, one to two months. Some people say three to four months. I've even heard six months to a year. I wouldn't let them go six months to a year. But uh, three to four months is usually the standard, I guess. Um, and according to the, I think it's the National Center for Food Preservation, they say three to four months is fine for peak um, flavor and freshness, I guess, right? So that's part of it too. It's safety, but also what they're going to taste like. So you want to make sure you let these sit for, the wind is whistling in there. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. Uh, it's been a really rotten 24 hours here. Heavy rain and winds, kind of hurricane coming up the coast. Anyhow, um, so yeah, I don't even know what I was saying. You want to make sure you wait at least three, four days, preferably about a week before you start taste testing these. The longer you let them go, like even two weeks would be perfect. Um, beyond that, it's fine up until three to four months, but if you want the, the flavor to be infused more in your egg, um, I'd probably give it at least two weeks if you can hold off with taste testing them. That is it. Now these do not get canned um, and they cannot stay out on your counter they have to go in the fridge. So in order to ensure their safety, we'll put them in the fridge. I am gonna use these plastic covers, even though I do not like these plastic covers because they claim they're leak proof and I cannot ever get them to be leak proof. I don't know, maybe they have to be used with a ball brand bottle, but we, don't, we can't get that around here. Um, I don't know, they're not leak proof with the mason jars that we can buy locally. But I don't use metal because the metal rings because the vinegar in this can corrode that metal ring and you might get like a metallic taste, that kind of thing. So we'll use plastic um, covers, but that is it. So beautiful, beautiful looking eggs. I'm gonna label these, I think. Well, I don't think I need to label them. There's a different color pepper in each one. I think it'll be fine. But there's our two jars, two quarts of pickled eggs. So we're gonna let them sit in the fridge. I'm gonna date them because that's a good tip. Date your pickled eggs because time flies and you might think, gee, I only made those a month ago and it might've been six months ago. That's how fast time goes. So label them so you know for sure when you started them, but chances are they will not last long enough um, to spoil anyway, if you enjoy pickled eggs. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Just a quick one on some spicy pickled eggs. Um, be sure to let me know in the comments if you've made this recipe, um, if you like the recipe, if you changed it up, how you do your pickled eggs. I would love to know. Um, I'm going to be playing around with some pickled eggs. i got to say I'm going to try some different variations. And like I said, you can mix it up and totally go with whatever flavors you wish. Can't really go wrong with pickled eggs. Uh, no matter what you do, as long as you get the brine right. Um, but anyway, in the fridge this is going to go, and that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, and give us a thumbs up, like our video, comment, um, share our video if you have friends that you think might be interested in it. It certainly helps a new channel out like ours. That is it. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.